to be using nickels. Okay, so right here it shows us both sides of, a, of the coin. Okay, we, we can see both faces of the nickel. Okay, now a nickel is worth five cents. Okay, so right here, Ms. Morales is going to circle all of the nickels that she has here inside the bag. Okay, so how many nickels do I have? I have three nickels. Okay, so how much money do I have? Okay, this is worth five five and five. So if I count by fives, I have five, 10, 15. So I have 15 cents. Okay, so I'm skip counting by five. Counting by five. You can count by fives to count nickels, okay? So you have this side of a nickel or this side, okay? It has two sides to it, two faces, but it's worth five cents. So right here, this nickel is five, now, if I put this other nickel together, then I have 10. So right here, I'm adding my nickels. If I put this other nickel, I have 15. If I put this other nickel, I have 20. If I add this other nickel, I have 25 cents. Why? Because I'm skip counting by fives. Okay, now let's go to number one. Okay, it says use nickels, count by fives, write the numbers, how much is there in all that means all together okay so again look at my example on the top i start with five plus another five cents that would be what five plus five ten plus another five That's 15 plus another five. 20. That's 20 in all. I have 20 cents in all. I have five plus another five. That would be 10 plus my other five. That would be 15. So I have 15 cents in all, all together because I'm skip counting by fives. Like when Azul would be circling for 10 pennies. Is that a fair trade? So if I have 10 pennies, and Maria gives me only one nickel. Are we tra trading evenly, fairly? No, why not, KDG? Fives. Okay, so this will be your homework. And I will put the picture in Class Dojo. So if you don't have the paper, then you write number three 
and then you draw on your little journal or on your paper then your two circles and then inside you would be writing five because it's five cents and on the bottom then you would be writing your answer five plus my other five makes what ten that's how you would be doing it in your little writing journal if you do not have the paper okay so this would be your homework now we would go to the other page okay and that's our word problem okay so we have number six it says mindy has 11 nickels how much money how much money does she have okay so she has 11 nickels so what would i draw my 11 nickels one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that would be my 11 nickels okay inside of each of my nickels okay i would write five because each of them is five cents okay i would write five now i would add them all together so it would be like the other page Oops, sorry i would make my line on the bottom So I would be writing, okay, I would start with five, the next one would be what, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and then 55. So how many do I have in all? 55. Buys a toy that cost 30 cents. The only, the only coins he uses are nickels. So how many nickels did he use to buy the toy okay so ben buys a toy that cost 30 cents okay the only coins he uses are nickels okay. how many nickels did he use to buy the toy Okay, so how many nickels did he use to buy the toy? 
if it's 30 cents and he's only using nickels, and I only make three circles. So if this is five, five, and five, and I make my lines, then I have five, 10, 15. Do I have 30 cents or do I need to draw more nickels? Very good, Azul, I need to draw more nickels. So if I make one more, that would be what? 20. Do I have already 30 cents? No. So I need to draw another nickel. So that would be 25. Do I have 30? Or I need to draw another nickel. Okay, I will need to draw another nickel. So now I have 30. So how many nickels did I draw? One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many nickels did I use? Six nickels. Rika has 14 nickels. How much money does she have? Okay, so we're only answering that part, okay? So if she has 14 nickels, again, how many circles am I going to draw? 14. So I would be drawing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, because he she has fourteen nickels. So on the bottom. I would be writing then my numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Okay, so how much money does she have? 70 cents. Okay. And that will be my answer. I will not be answering this other part of the question. Okay, she would have 70 cents. Be making circles, pretending it's your nickels. Okay, and then you're going to be adding your nickels together. Okay. So for homework, it's only the other page because we already finished this one today. 
because since it was kind of difficult, I didn't want you to have a lot of homework on the math with the word problems. Okay, so we did it together. Now I'm going to show you your writing for today. Okay, so the ones that were not with us yesterday, okay, let's do good listening. That way you know what you're going to be doing for writing. Okay, so I'm going to show you the writing. So again, your math homework today, it's only this page. And if you do not have the page, you make the circles like Ms. Morales was making the circles to complete your homework. Raise your hand if you understand what you're doing for your math homework. Okay. Now we're going to go to our writing. Okay. And today our writing for Tuesday, it says write. Okay write facts about bears okay so what are we going to be writing facts about bears okay so you're going to on your paper you're going to write the date and then you're going to copy this all about bears and then you're going to write one okay bears have claws period Bears have sharp teeth, period. Bears can climb trees, period. Okay, so you're writing facts and then you're going to be drawing your picture on your writing journal, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do it in your writing journal. Okay, so I May 5th, 2020 period okay then you're going to write what the paper says okay your title all about bears so that's what you would be writing there okay all about bears and you're not doing it right now with miss morales i'm just showing you what you are going to do in your journal justin so let's pay attention okay you don't need to be copying it right now i'll be putting the picture then you're going to write number one and you will be writing your fact about bears then you're going to write number two and you write something else about bears that you know. Then you write number three, and you write something else about bears that you know, okay? Then on the bottom, okay, you would be drawing is going to be looking in your little writing journal so you're not printing this paper okay this you're writing you're doing it in your little writing journal raise your hand if you want from the picture that i will be sending okay so do you need to print this paper no you do not need to waste ink printing the paper do we understand raise your hand okay so you're writing in your writing journal like this okay then you finish copying the six key details and draw your pictures okay and then your math page this one for homework and practice your blending charts okay very good. So let me exit.